All right, guys. So, I'm not the only one that took some time off today. <laughs> I haven't done anything today. But really cool stuff is that I just got through talking, uh, Skyping with Steve from Steve's Haunted Yard. That was awesome. That was so cool. Um, and then, you know, coming off of, you know, the Bloodshed Brothers live vlog last night, that was also really cool. I've gotten, uh, three more subscribers. I will shout them out later. You know, sometimes you just gotta relax. Sometimes you just have to sit back because I don't want to suffer from burnout because that would really suck. Oh, and Nick from Hi Res, uh, thank you. He gave me a link to find the uh, the shaver for the foam, and basically this is what Travis did yesterday, and I didn't vlog it because I was I was too into the vlog TV. So he got the base cut for the tombstone, and I need to go and get some more uh, foam board adhesive. And he started to uh, use the wood putty to uh, cover up the seams and whatnot, and a small mistake. So that's what's going on. That's where everything's at. Well, I have made it one place today. I have done one thing today. I went and got dinner. I know. Interesting stuff, isn't it? Now that I'm starting to feel alive and everything, and yeah, it's almost time to go to bed. But I think that I'm going to tell you guys what my costume is going to be. If you haven't already put two and two together yet, I'll show you when I get back to the house. I think you'll like it. I'm going to get the subscriber shoutouts out of the way, but they are very important, so don't think I'm just getting them out of the way, alright? Um, and this is awesome. I didn't think, or I didn't know that I had five new ones. That is so cool. So thank every, each and every one of you. Um, the Haunters Channel, Season of Shadows, 26 Melissa N, I think. Ozzy D Productions and Foolish Cop. Thank all of you guys for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Feel free to comment, rate, or whatever. Um, okay, so I'm going to let the cat out of the bag. You guys might have put uh, two and two together already, but for the West Coast Haunters Convention, the costume for the ball that I'm going to be working on, and I didn't want to say anything because I, I, I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to do it, so I'm just you know putting that out there. Because the other day, I said, it's showtime, right? Well, all right, so you, you've guessed it by now, right? Now, oh, come on, uh, I'll give you a few seconds. Go ahead and think. Think movies. Okay, time's up. Eh. There you go. Beetlejuice. And, but, I can't make up my mind on whether I want to do the widely recognized striped outfit um, checkered outfit, or, and I'm, I'm leaning towards this one right here, I think this would be the easiest one to produce, or reproduce, get a red t-shirt, and all those are right there are like hand prints on it, <laughs> they almost look like a, uh, raccoon's prints, but anyway, um, I think that would be the easiest, uh, outfit to reproduce, and, it's the same one that he used here. I'm Harvard Business School. I travel quite a bit. And, and I had a pretty good time there in that. About 167 times, and it keeps getting funnier every single time I see it. Not to mention the fact that you're talking to a dead guy. Now, what do you think? Do you think I'm qualified? I'd say so. Anyway, so I'm going to actually go and watch the movie right now just so I can get mannerisms. And it's kind of funny because Beetlejuice is actually. Um, I think a mix between Butthead of Beavis and Butthead and the old comedian Sam Kinison. Do you guys see it? Do you guys know? Well, first, you, you have to know the references to whom I'm talking about, but totally. Um, so do me a favor, leave me a, a comment down below of uh, checkered, striped, or I don't know, I'll call it like the, the, the hobo look. <laughs> So anyway, um, that's all I've got tonight. I'm not going to bore you with a lot of stuff that you're not interested in. Tomorrow, hopefully I'll get something done. Anyway, happy hunting, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow.